Procreate 5.4 introduces multiple brush libraries. Let's try out making our own new library and organizing our favorite brushes. Open the brush panel and quick pinch to access the brush library's menu and add a new library. I'm going to call mine Ty's library. And I want it to sit maybe over here. So I'll long hold to pick it up and change the arrangement. If I decide to change the name at any point, I can just tap on the library title to rename the library. Great, let's get some brushes in here. Here's one I made earlier. Well, actually it's one of the new brushes that I duplicated, then played around with the new spacing settings using the lateral and linear jitter properties. Let's start with this one. Tap and hold to pick up the brush and return to your new library, either by pinching or tapping on the library title to return to libraries. And Stanley too has a new home, but have I relocated him or does a copy still exist in the previous library? Let's take a look. Ah, no, there's old pal Stanley, but no Stanley too. So moving a brush into another set does relocate it. Good to know, I'll swipe left to make duplicates when I need. Swiping right to select more brushes, I can move multiple brushes around in batches or pick up an entire set. Long hold the set title to rename it or assign a custom icon. You might even use an emoji as the icon by adding an emoji to the start of the set name and then deselecting the custom icon. Voila! You can share and save brushes, brush sets and brush libraries all as files onto your device. And either tap on the plus button in the brush or library panel to import them, or drag the files directly into Procreate. That's it. And should I ever get lost, swiping down will reveal a search bar. Phew, there you are, Stanley. <laughs>